So, what did you want to do, Igor? Yes. Let me just show you how fleeting your so-called truth is. And I'm going to use influ my influence on the Abyss to essentially spawn the environmental tilt. Um, just pulling it from the Night Horrors book, The Withering Magic. Um, but let me make sure that I actually do it correctly. That's the wrong button. Ignore that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did not mean to roll initiative. Okay. Yeah. So, I am calling upon uh, the Abyss to kind of crack through here and start eroding supernal magic, essentially. Um, the tilt, the condition itself, all spells controlled, cast by a mage within the area, all spells that are currently in the area, start decreasing by a spell factor each turn they're in the area, and will eventually end the spells, essentially. This now lasts for 60 minutes. Is there a visual change? Something that bros. It is the supernal magic starting so. to die, so. AK, no, nothing that no, Rose no. would be able to see. Nothing that Rose is going to see. Or Tiago. Because, by. You see the magic draining off of his arm, but then you also see it being. Just as quickly as it's drained, being replaced. can go on forever. Forever's a long time. And we've had plenty of forevers. We've already done this. And we'll do it again. He looks this... over he looks over at the other two like, uh, what is he talking about? Apparently we've had this fight before. Sometimes we won, sometimes we lost. I'm hoping we win this time. But reasons and he's kind of a hobo anyway, so I oh. don't. That was not as enlightening as I had hoped. Looks to Tiago as if to say, uh, that is what I get for looking at the child first. <laughs> You really are corrupted. Kind of shakes his head at Igor. However, your corruption is the least of worries right now, so. So, do you know how to kill the dragon? Because I was just going to, like, rip its heart out. Would that work? Why not it you? is a ghost. It does not possess hearts. And... I mean, you can certainly rip it open. You'll just find ectoplasm. And that is... He takes his claws and rips himself open. And as he pulls it back, you don't see blood, but you see this gooey, almost greenish-blue liquid. Ooh. He actually goes up, looks close, smells it. What the... Doesn't even bleed right. Well, we are not physical bodies. It is the blood of their echoes. Simply how this how this form of life works. How it is built. I mean, so I guess technically if it bleeds green it dies green? 
I don't know. If you're able to destroy enough of its body, you can kill it. At this point, the ground shakes as a roar erupts. Is it closer than it was before? Oh, yes, most definitely. Uh, even Tordor kind of goes, um, I'm going to step outside for a moment. Ooh, is it here? Is it coming? Let's go. Steps outside, looking up into the air. I thought we're in a cave. <laughs> cave. Yeah. <laughs> Tech, Tavern. Technically, the entire underworld is a cave. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody follow, or is everybody just going to stay in the longhouse? Oh, Rose is going out. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'll follow. Rose, make a perception check. Uh, okay. Um, Tiago, go ahead and make a perception check as well. Or uh, uh. nope, not them. Nope, it hasn't, hasn't even, come through yet. Yeah, it hasn't even rolled on my end. Oh, my, I've got nothing. So, uh. well, both of you see the dragon. Letting high above the buildings in this cavern of flames. Rose, you're the one that notices the individual on his back. A dragon rider. It's a dragoon. No, though you would be forgiven. Because it is somebody <laughs> in heavily clad armor. And a very large sword. Screaming something in a language you don't understand, and you just see the individual making stabbing motions constantly. Do I recognize that armor and sword? How well did you know him? How well would you have known Sigheim? Probably fairly well. He was newly introduced to the brood, so she probably kind of helped him along with that. <laughs> then, yes, you recognize the armor. Uh, well, you don't understand the language. You uh, you recognize the sound of it. I recognize a battle cry. <laughs> <laughs> How the heck did he get up there? How did he get in here? And then up there? Is it descending oh no it, it, it's it seems like it's not descending it's flying it as if it's not sh its arms aren't long enough to reach honestly so <laughs> like it can't do very much uh it's looking for a way to os the rider but it's been difficult let's just put it that way I'm not letting him have all the glory of killing a dragon. And she's going to transform into an owl and fly up there. <laughs> is that a roll or is that just spin Vitae That's a, and do? Yeah, spin Vitae and do. That's a protean animal form. So poof. Ooh. <laughs> and you're just going to cling on to the dragon as an owl. No, she's going to fly above it and then drop on it and start hacking away at it. <laughs> uh, Not letting Stigheim get the best of it. <laughs> give me a dexterity check versus a finesse check because uh, he is attempting to throw somebody from him. So uh, this finesse is going to matter. Uh, okay. I don't know the stats for owl. 
Actually, if I'm transforming, it would be my own stats. Would it be Dex Athletics or just Dex? You get, um... Do you want our stats? I, weirdly enough, I have them. <laughs> um... I don't think any owl stat block's gonna win against this. <laughs> Probably not. But like oh. I said, she's going above it and then transforming and dropping onto it, so it would be her normal stats at that point, I assume. Go ahead and do Dex Athletics. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. fine with that. Why does it always do that? Hold on. Wait, strength. Oh, why'd I do strength? That's supposed to be Dex. Hold on. Reroll. <laughs> Better for you. That is better. <laughs> <laughs> you land towards the tail, uh, which Sigheim is probably closer to the middle of the back. All right, well, she's going to start clawing her way up to him. <laughs> Anybody on the, on the ground? <laughs> Diago, you've just witnessed this little girl turn into an owl. Oh. Where am I going to go with this? <laughs> um. <sighs> Give me a second. I need to check my uh, check my horns. Igor. Have you even left the house? He'll eventually wander <laughs> out. He's not just going to stand there. But he wasn't immediately in any rush to, to follow Torgor. Hearing the dragon's roar may have drawn him. Yeah, maybe. And when he does get out, assuming he can see it, I'm going to attempt to uh, start mage sighting this. Um... <laughs> This, I am assuming, would be best represented as trying to, uh, what is it, revelation, or, uh... Scrutinize or revelation? Yeah, revelation scrutiny, sorry, that's what it's called. Yeah. Focus mage site, essentially. Okay, give me that big old dice pool. It's not gonna be that big. Well, you, you do get a plus, like, four. Or five, because it is your own spell that you placed, what, a part of your soul in or something? No, I just kind of called forth the same name that I took. It's a philosophical question. And that's a question I don't have time for in Mage. Um, that's... The, stop that. Why do you keep... <laughs> it's because the, the die it's... button is... Not there, so I, 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 yeah, I see, I see a little dice, and I click it to roll, and it's the wrong dice. Um, so would this be, um, death or life because it's contagion? Yes. <laughs> okay. Because originally it was death. I will do life because I want to know how. Th how the plague has gotten into it. Okay. Um, and oh, it is a plus what? Plus five, because it is your own spell, essentially. Slash part of use. That's a few successes. Eh, that's not bad. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> Decent. <laughs> so, yeah, it's gotta get there. the job done. It did what it has always done. It infected and then slowly began to change every single... I'm trying to think of how best to phrase it, because obviously a ghost dragon, a ghost abyssal dragon, does not have cells. Correct. But every... For lack of a better phrasing, every tiny bit Essence? Yes. Uh, was slowly taken over, corrupted, and then replicated.
So is there any of the original dragon remaining or is it all altered? The vast majority of it see. is augmented, but there are bits of the original. Whether or not the contagion decided those weren't worth the effort or if it can't, that remains to be seen. And yes, most of that is the abyssal part of it. Can't corrupt something that doesn't exist, technically. I want to try to rip it out of it, but I don't know if that's the smart decision. Smart? Igor. He's insane. <laughs> I don't know what that would, what, I don't know what that would be, though. Um, As you get up to uh, Sigheim, Rosaline, he... Give me a wits empathy here. Alrighty. Wits. <laughs> empathy. You're like, I have none. <laughs> Three success. <laughs> He's gone. He's in, he's in full frenzy. There is not a lick of sentience behind those eyes behind that helmet. He's in full frenzy. You also see his armor has been scorched to hell. Um, you see that his skin is somewhat burnt as well. So, um... Yeah. Well, he was on the helicopter, right? I assume? Yes. <laughs> well, she was about to yell out, how'd you get here? But, you know, looking at his... his wild face, she's not going to get an answer out of him. So she'll join him! <laughs> so she's going to spend a willpower and drop into Frenzy. Oh yeah. And your claws still aggravated even to ghosts, don't they? Yeah, buddy. Give me your attack roll. <laughs> Shall I make it an obscene roll? He has 17 defense. That is not nearly enough. I'm still <laughs> Let's oh, see. we're going to have a Rosaline attack roll, everybody. Remember how this was last time? Uh, is anybody getting any music? Because I'm not. It dropped out. I don't remember when. Not too long ago. Let me refresh. Let me refresh. Oh. I was playing it. So uh, I was getting it. Uh, so hold on. There we go. Rosaline? Yes, so 17 defense, you said? Yes. All right, 17. I'm also going to do minus two, because I'm going to put one Vitae into Vigor for a damage bonus. So that's minus 19. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> 21, so 25 aggravated damage. <laughs> okay. First of all, I want you to explain your five dexterity, five brawl. That's understandable. I want you to explain the 68 modifier <laughs> just for the audience, please. I think people would want to know why you're rolling 78 die for an attack roll. Well, you see, uh, I have the merit is called the... Uh, light weapons which allows me to sacrifice defense one to one to add to my attack so rose has base defense of 10 plus five from celerity and That's then 15. being a former dragon not dragon worm worm yes uh her frenzy adds 
bunch of bonuses as well. So bonuses to dexterity equal to blood potency. That's ten. Uh, that's that's normal frenzy. The coil adds another <laughs> blood potency to, de to defense. That's another ten. <laughs> um, fifteen vitality to dexterity is thirty. And uh, actually, it should be a minus. Yeah, willpower. Sorry. I actually I accidentally put willpower in there too. So I can take away how many? <laughs> minus three dice to that already. So I could take away a few successes because I accidentally put in willpower to my uh, roll there. So you're going to re-roll? You want me to re-roll? Yeah, because I mean... All right. And then watch he watch it be even worse. Well, oh. uh, still twenty. <laughs> so twenty aggravated damage. This <laughs> You watch as. Why don't you tell me what exactly Rose does? Hold on. Let, let's start with this. I feel like I have to ask this. Assuming they can see what's happening up there, she has clawed an opening into the dragon and crawled inside. So you wouldn't be able to see a lot of what's happening, but she's, you know clawing her way around inside, burrowing. Uh, arm kind of throws out one and pops back in. Other one over there. She <laughs> she does the alien thing and bursts out of its chest and crawls along its belly and dives back inside. She's just, she's just like a worm through an apple, just all through it. I'm going to say both of you can see this just because I want to. <laughs> and probably a lot of bits and pieces are raining down <laughs> a lot of ectoplasm which honestly is probably like payday down here because I mean <laughs> that's their food <laughs> do not eat the infected ectoplasm these people <laughs> um this thing only has 16 health. <laughs> no, it doesn't. As I recall, it was size it 40, was minimum right? Size 40. Oh yeah, sorry. I hadn't I hadn't added in the size yet. Yeah, and plus whatever the contagion did to it. I did a good uh, a good chunk. Okay, where it says 30 something, 40. Uh, the game, uh, the sheet cannot calculate. <laughs> no, no, it never could. <laughs> so, uh, let's just say you almost have to tell. Fair enough. Uh, it shrieks, this time actually in pain rather than anger. And then. It throws itself against the wall. Just the way you were burrowing through it, it begins to burrow through the wall. Ooh. Oh, can I stop? Um, I might put a stop to that. Oh. Um, depends if I can. Hold on. Let me, let me check. Um... Otherwise, I've got something very nasty coming up <laughs> for Rose, and I don't think Peter's going to like this. Oh, no. Was he going to dive oh. into the ocean? That was what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Going to be a dive straight into the ocean. He's getting rid of Sig oh, okay. here. Okay. <laughs> but if Rose is inside the dragon, she's not being touched by the ocean. You made holes. Clawed a hole. <laughs> Okay, 
few holes, sure. <laughs> this is the sacrifice I'm making for Rose. This is... Okay. That. Affects targets up to size up to marionette plus two times plasma spent. What is this ability? I didn't hear the... Marionette. Oh, Basically, okay. uh, string the marionette. It's like I can make I can marionette a living well an it and entity. So it's rather than an object. Um, size up, size up to so marionette plus two times plasm spent. So is that half twenty plasm? Yeah, it'd be twenty plasm from the sounds of that. Twenty plasm. So I've got to spend fifteen plasm on this uh, to. Uh, did I rain oh. enough plasm down? <laughs> I got it. It's it's fine. Um, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just basically gonna grab hold of this thing. No, it doesn't seem to even be a roll. Yeah, no. It's trying to get away. I just want to hold it in place. You know, if I if I'm being a real stickler for the rule, Rose can continue to hurt it and it can't do anything. Because it's got no defense? No. Resolution. Suffer lethal damage. <laughs> or breaking point. I've also got the fifth ability, which means I can spend that, and then it doesn't have to. I can maintain control of it even with lethal damage. Uh, Igor? Yes, Igor is going to make a bad decision. I don't even know what <laughs> kind of spell cast this is going to be, all right? Igor is going to attempt to grab whatever pieces of it are not currently infected and rip them out and bring them back to himself. Mm. Now, oh, synergy marionette. Hold on, I do, there is a roll. It's synergy marionette, which uh, is fifteen. So I'll just make sure I can actually do the roll. Hi, an exceptional oh, success. Yes. I'll take that. All right, creative thermaturgy. Let's go. Yeah, so uh, oh, this is a terrible dice pool, though. Oh boy! And how many paradox am I rolling? Um, we're about to find out. <laughs> You're like, yes, all. Well, the I need to. I need to do the one turn casting time. I need to do sensory range, and I need to do advanced scale. Uh, so that's three reaches. I, I'm assuming this has to be a five dot kind of spell. So I'm already at ten paradoxes. Um, I I don't. Do you want like a potency increase on this? I I don't know if this is contested or. I'm not sure. Go ahead. I feel like. I feel this like this be, is uh, gonna be bad. Well, I was saying I think the the main spell factor would be potency instead of duration, so you get a bit of bonus there, I guess. Unless you're going for duration, I don't know. I mean, I, I doubt it's duration. Um. Are you ready for me to roll the paradox? <laughs> yeah. It. Yeah, yeah, it's 10 paradox. Woo! Wait, is that? You're casting spells at the contagion. It's always yeah, been this. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'd like to see more <laughs> paradox. 15! All right, I can I can get fifteen dice. I can get fifteen successes on the dice pull of ten. That's not impossible, but it's highly improbable. This. <laughs> yeah, not quite. That was a good roll, but not quite there. <laughs> All right. So what happens here? Well, I can control four of the successes. So there's eleven successes that you can't control. Someone this is correct. Um, 
and I guess I would just have to spend them on um, extra reaches here. <laughs> I mean, well, free reaches. I might as well, you know? Might as well. If it's free reach, it cancels out the paradox roll. Hey! <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> um, okay, so, and then I can... It's just high speed shadow name would be probably be relevant here. Um, could I could I argue a bonus because I already created these pieces? <laughs> I'll give you a plus five. Hey, hey, I'll take it. That makes the roll pretty pretty acceptable. That puts my dice pool to thirteen instead of eight. Oh, I could have used that on the paradox roll. Uh, would have been better. <laughs> so what happens to the 11 paradox that... Um, I don't know, Storyteller. What happens <laughs> to the 11 paradox? Where All is I that? All I know is that per um, Celesti Befoulement, it usually does not affect the spell that is being cast. It usually causes um, collateral damage. Ah. Especially with 11, there's going to be collateral damage. I just need to know where the Abyssal stuff is. Oh, um, do you want, like, the main book Abyssal stuff? Uh, the main book, yeah. Ah, oh, found it, Paradox. Here we go. It doesn't give much guidance. I'm in a Supernal Enter, uh, Par Abyssal Entity. Yeah, pretty much. Buddy! <laughs> <laughs> How bad should this abyssal entity be? Rank 11. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, those 11 could, they could spawn two abyssal entities of rank 2. Um, or an abyssal entity of rank 4. Further reach may increase the rank of the entity by one per reach. So, I mean, you could, I guess, spawn like a, a rank nine abyssal entity if you really wanted. Yeah, I, I was thinking, <laughs> I, I saw this word here, a asudem. I don't know what that means. What, what page? Uh, it's Night Horrors page 100. Oh, Night Horrors. I gotta go over Night Horse then, because I want to look at it. Not like I'm a mage right now, but still. Uh, right underneath the. Oh headline. yeah, one of them. Um, those are sorry, those are uh, Abyssal Archmasters, not Paradoxes. Ah, not Abyssal entities. Um, you're you're looking for the the anti gods, the Anunnaki. Okay, the Anunnaki. <laughs> you have given birth to a new Anunnaki. Oh, cool. <laughs> Neat. I'll Clear. eat it too. <laughs> <laughs> um however Tiago what are you going to do with said dragon or this the part of the dragon that you still have a hold of because you still do have a hold of the dragon even with Igor ripping part of it out he's muted Uh, oh. What's what's going on there? Uh, Rose, what are, what's going on with you right now? Uh, she's still clawing. She's probably still inside the dragon. <laughs> Give me another roll. So, on this roll... Sorry, I'm gonna... Go ahead. Oh, uh, I'm going to start basic next. Some of the, uh, the condition... Uh, you cut out a bunch. I couldn't understand anything. I heard next time something, condition something. Pretty much. Uh, no, come on. It's got a string the Murray in it. Uh, just... Type it out. Uh, is he here? Yeah, he's typing. 
So, while he's typing, uh, will it have its defense this time? Technically, <laughs> no. Ah. Spending the plasm basically to make sure that you he doesn't lose control. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So now I can do a true maximum effort roll. <laughs> oh, God. As it was meant to happen. With no negatives. Are you going to pop willpower just for... Just for the lulls, yes. <laughs> what are you going to eat to get all this fighting back? Uh, uh, I found oh. the problem. Oh? I found the problem. What was it? You you downloading something? Uh, Steam was downloading a Baldur's Gate 3 update. Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> Thanks, oh, Steam. Steam. You did it again. <laughs> Thanks, Steam. <laughs> 3 point three gig just quietly quietly doing its thing in the back <laughs> I am still putting the one Vitae into Vigor because I still want that uh, that bonus so dang it's 19 so 24 successes of aggravated damage <laughs> Let me tick down all that fighty. Hold on, keep going. How much fighty do you have left? 67. So, have plenty. However, there is not plenty for you to claw through as you begin to fall. <laughs> Along with Sigheim. I'll use the dragon to cushion my fall. <laughs> there is no more dragon to There's cushion. No dra <laughs> Even a little piece of it as a pillow? <laughs> no. <laughs> you both are falling towards the Sea of Fragments. Oh. Well, I assume okay. at this point my frenzy target has untargeted. <laughs> Unless you want to target Sigheim. No. <laughs> she has no reason to target Sigheim. Except she tried to steal her kill, but... That's a separate issue. I feel like uh, that's no. a perfect reason. <laughs> she might kick him. <laughs> but, uh... String the marionettes again. Who are you marionetting? Rose. Me! Uh -oh. She's turning into an owl again. <laughs> if you're turning into an owl, then, then don't worry. <clears throat> that was her plan as she starts falling in, into the ocean. As the dragon that you just ripped out reaches you, Igor, it's no longer dragon-shaped. It is... A newborn abyssal god in your hands. Well, I was going to do what I was going to do with it anyways, and, um... Eat it. Not quite. Kind of. Metaf metaphysically, maybe? So, part of the Quiploth's existence is that their soul has kind of been hollowed out by the abyss. Uh, Igor was going to put this into where his soul should be. Ooh. That was the original plan, because Igor believed that this was the missing part of his soul that prevented him from having full control over the abyss. He's still gonna do it. And it's gonna go real badly. But he's going... my antagonist. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to attempt to bring it back to himself. Um, I don't know if this you want a spell for this, or an influence for this, or... I want... <laughs> I want stamina... A stamina composure and resolve roll, honestly. I want your... I want a resistance roll, essentially. 
damn, I should have cast another spell on this to buff my resistances previously. No, no, that's that's cowardice. That'd be supernal buffs. I don't, I don't want those. Did you roll all three resistances? Um, I guess. If that is what is being demanded, I will roll all three resistances. Yes. Uh, can I willpower this? <laughs> That would be a plus two. Okay. That is 13. That's not terrible, but... Um, what, so what's the penalty? Yeah, it, it's not a penalty. It's a counter roll. Oh, counter. Ooh, boy. That's not going to be good enough. I assume it's rolling a uh, our finesse roll. <laughs> well, ignore my spelling, right? Yes. Well, Annie. Still the, it's still the seven. Oh, it's still counting at a size forty. Uh, <laughs> I'll just. Man, almost. We'll get back to what happens there. Uh, as in next time, or I'm focusing on the other two right now. Okay, yeah. Rose, Rose turned back into an owl. She's gonna fly back toward the land. Uh, Sikhan's on his own. I can't carry another person. <laughs> Are you going to string the marionette for Sigheim, or are you going to let him plummet into the ocean of fragments? <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to defer to Gavin. What? Would, sorry, it's going to be a little bit meta meta gaming. What would you like me to do? Am I going to need a new character in a second? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um. You can do what you want. I find it amusing that he has been denied <laughs> death so far. Three <laughs> times now? Three or four times? <laughs> Why the hell not? That's, uh, I don't think this one... Size five. He's, is he a size five? Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's just he's just a guy. He's just a guy. Just a guy in armor. Okay, then. He's just a very angry guy. <laughs> four successes. Are you marionette? You stringing him up like a marionette and walking him back through the air? <laughs> I imagine this is a lot more like sort of like the kind of almost like he's being dragged through the air. <laughs> you see um, Rose as he's being drugged through the air towards. <laughs> the cavern. Are you heading back towards the cavern? Yeah, she's going back towards the rest of the group. And then when she gets to them, she's going to transform back into a, a humanoid. But she is covered in, Ecto I guess it would be ectoplasm, just matted down. <laughs> well, that was fun! <laughs> Tordor is not looking at Rose or Tiago. He's looking directly at Igor, who is currently doubled over. What happened to him? Is he constipated? He's in mourning because I killed his pet dragon. He said it was okay, though. Tordor kind of takes a step back. No, no, he has done something so incredibly stupid, I can't even begin to explain it. Actually, yes, I can. Imagine you had a newborn god, and you decided to shove it into your body. I thought that was going in a different direction. So what happened? Then? 
Well, it depends. Right now, probably the Entity and his will are doing battle to see who comes out on top. And whoever comes out on top will be something new. Neat! Go, whoever you come out to be. I do not think we want to be when that happens. If I were to make a suggestion, while he's incapacitated, I would throw him into the ocean. Can't swim. The ocean strips away everything from you. Piece by piece. Starts with your memories, then your identity, until you are nothing. Feel like that is the safest bet. Having whatever is going to be created in the next few moments be completely unaware of everything sounds like the safest bet. Come on, hobo. Time for your bath. Is Rose actually going to do this? <laughs> uh, she'll approach, kind of look, see what he's doing before she actually does anything to him. What's your... Which one of your conspiracy theories that you want to um, let the audience in on at this moment? Because you'd be rambling incoherently, so... <laughs> ah, excellent. Um... <laughs> I don't know. What would he be rambling about right now? I mean, he's probably going on about... So, Igor, since when he be when he started messing with the Abyss, he took on another shadow... He took on a shadow name of... of, uh, Needhog? Because he wanted to, you know, chew down the world with the, uh, uh, you know, Abyssal Oblivion? Mm -hmm. Um... I don't know how to how to ramble into that. That something makes into something that'll make sense right now. I'll be honest with you, but he's probably not making sense. But he's probably going on about something about you know, um, gnawing down the world tree or whatever. Um, uh, cutting away the the exarch's lies. Uh, this this is actually just the the exarch of the the life exarch. I don't remember what their name is at the, off the top of my head. Uh, I don't think anybody here will. Uh, Contagion's actually just it's it's his fault, uh, his his doing to uh, to keep us all down. You know. You see, if if the contagion infects all of the people, you know, and there's no souls anymore, you know, so no one to challenge the exarchs. That's their main goal. At the end of the day. Of course, this is all going to sound far more insane coming out of Igor's tongue. <laughs> Probably with random bits of high speech and abyssal speech mixed in there. Um, oh, he's just gone back to the way he was before. I know how to fix him. I, oh, hit him in the head really hard. <laughs> she runs into the, the house to get a hammer. <laughs> On this note, we are going to call the session here. Take care. <laughs> you have just finished listening to this week's episode of the Contagion Chronicle, The World Plague, the conclusion to the Domain Gaming's Contagion Anthology, written and told by Wyvarian. A special thanks to you, the listener, and if you wish to continue supporting us, subscribe, like, and share. As always, comments are welcomed. Until the next chapter, don't stop asking yourself, what is this plague that invades both body and mind?